my name's Jenna and I'm part of the biomedical engineering department and I worked on a team to come up with a hand washing compliance system. Our sponsor is Portage Health and also the biomedical engineering department. Hand washing is a very serious issue, especially in hospitals. Um, actually about 99,000 patients die every year due to hospital acquired infections. And most of that could have been solved if healthcare workers were washing their hands at least 90% of the time that they should have been. And actually the US spends about $20 billion, $20 billion a year treating these hospital acquired infections. So not only is people dying, but it's a very expensive uh, process to treat these infections. So uh, we were presented with the task of developing a hand washing compliance system that's very passive and inexpensive to use. Uh, so the basic design concept for us was using radio frequency identification, where we would be outfitting each of the healthcare workers with an active RFID tag. Um, as soon as they would enter the patient's room, uh, they would be automatically picked up by our um, radio frequency identification system. Um, and then it would all be tracked within software. So as soon as they enter the room, our software is monitoring that. As soon as they push the soap dispenser, um, it monitors that, okay, they wash their hands, they're very compliant within CDC protocol hand washing uh, procedures. So uh, we did some preliminary testing. And uh, we also found that our system is very accurate for all sorts of different scenarios. For instance, if multiple healthcare workers were to enter a room, uh, if a hand washing event did occur, did not occur, um, you know, we checked adjacent rooms to make sure that the system wasn't picking those up. So uh, ended up working out really well. We did have a couple inaccuracies, but uh, we found that these were really extraneous solutions that uh, really wouldn't be happening very much. So, uh, so this is kind of. The software takes all the data of people entering and uh, dispensing soap, outputs it into a log file. Uh, this is very hard and messy to read, so our team was uh, put up to the task of developing a macro to clean up the data. And then our final uh, result comes down here and imports the log file picked up by the software and it displays it into a nice, neat Excel file uh, with a date stamp, time stamp, and then it goes through and decides what healthcare workers were compliant with hand washing standards and which ones were not.